Check. Let's play some slower games today on Shogi Wars. Now, no doubt you're aware, if you've seen previous videos on this channel, I did many, many games in a row attempting to reach a rank of 2 Don in the 10 second time control. And while attempting to do that, just hit a brick wall. So let's calm down, play some slower games, and see if that's more fun. Good luck. and get to play my custom uh, fourth file rook strategy where uh, this pawn is probably advancing again very quickly ten minutes the most important time control you say? that doesn't surprise me if it's true but Still interesting to note. Alright, I protect against a bishop drop. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. How many times am I going to end up in this thing? Alright, I'm not going to defend my bishop indefinitely. Because that's not profitable. Um, let's expose my bishop, which creates this really dynamic situation. <clears throat> and then try to sort through what the hell this is. Um, defend this pawn, even though that blocks my rook. I have to take this. Very likely it behooves me to drop a pawn, but I don't know that yet. Um, hmm. Let's unblock my rook. Oh, most Japanese players look at the 10 minute. Okay, I could see that. All right, so I cannot push this pawn without hanging it. Um, what a position. They have a pawn in hand. This knight could advance and strike this again. Let's create some tension. Interesting. Nana Fun.
All right, let's have some fun. We are deciding to have fun. Ah, they reinforce this point. This is not as fun as I thought. Interesting. If I bring up the rook, they chase my silver egg over here. Mm, this could still be somewhat interesting. Let's see. Now, I always want to pursue the king, but they keep defending their king. So... Let's go a different direction. This always gets me in trouble. Will I ever learn from it? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I just crave drama. I don't know. Maybe someday it'll work and I'll be hailed as some kind of genius for finding this idea. But... At present, this does not look like... this does not look very convincing. Well, it looks a bit more convincing now. I promise I wasn't slow rolling that on purpose. I think a mistake happened. Um. Go Fun. There are still problems to solve here. So if silver takes, I can push this. Alright, they're not going for this madness, so... Um... I push this anyway. Hmm, not sure where to drop it. F 
3分2分30秒。2分。I think we got him. Welcome. All right. But yeah, to read Transport's earlier comment in full, he said, when it comes to comparing strength, most Japanese players use war's 10 minute as opposed to 10 second as the metric for comparison. So take that for what it is. He's probably right. He's right about a lot of things. Let me check. Did I get my overlay set up correct? Oh good. You have the nice large board this game. Yeah on my screen it shows the same way you would see it on a mobile application with um, the pieces above and below the board. However, in this perspective, uh, you can see the pieces as large as I can make them. And likewise, the board. So, um, there's dual threat. Well, actually, I just took for granted that I had an additional piece in hand, which I seem not to have. Also, my audio stopped working, so after this game, we'll have to correct that. Okay. Um. Eight minutes and thirty seconds. Yeah, I thought I had another gold general in hand. This is actually. Slightly more complicated than I thought. Eight minutes. Yeah, I might lose this. I'm more than a bit rattled by everything here.
I simply miscounted how many pieces I have. And I've done that several times before. But usually, I'm overly cautious. Okay, audio came back. This time I'm underly cautious, and it's going to sting an incredible amount if I can feel it. Nijibio. There's nothing I can do here. I fucked up, and there's no time to correct my mistake. Thanks for the game. This is why you don't make mistakes. Don't take your eye off the game. Learn from my error. Don't make my error. One, down, one game down, two to go. Good luck. Let's keep, continue making the same error that I'm making every time. Because I don't remember the right way to play this. I always grab this pawn, and it always bites me in the ass. Um, interesting. All right, let's open the line for my bishop. Interesting. Um... Screw it, this looks too fun. Let's do it. How can I turn this down? After our last game, you know that I want some uh, tactics to happen. So, we've got tactics happening this game. Alright. Um... Maybe I'm a bit too anxious. Oh! Jeez. 
Well, I can't say no to that. How could I say no to this? Um, all right, so they have a rook and a bishop. I have a rook and a bishop. My king is a bit more exposed, and my bishop is hanging. Interesting. Let's take a lance. All right, my bishop's not hanging anymore. Um, not immediately. All right, so if I drop the rook over here, bishop drop does not contain it. Bishop drop here contains my rook. No, it doesn't. Why am I dropping a rook? Rooks are cool, but there are other cool pieces too. Um... Oh, this looks too interesting. Where does this put us? So watch this. Yeah, this diagonal does not align with my rook. Oh, I don't know where we're going. <clears throat> um, right. However. Um... Okay, I can contain their rook with my pawn. And then the rook probably moves aside. And then my rook escapes. Unless I have something better. It's important to just watch that there's not a fork. So tempted to drop my lance in this whole bit, but I don't think it works out. Or rather, I don't think it's profitable to have dropped the lance instead of what we see here. No, they are threatening this like silver back, gold back to try to trap my horse permanently. So that factors into every little calculation we do here. Um, keeping the lance in hand kind of limits their options. Although another lance wouldn't hurt, but it wouldn't help much, would it? Yeah, they've got this pseudo crab castle is surprisingly resilient. That is a fork. Um, this might now be the best opportunity to place the lance. So I could have just defended with the silver up hitting this and it would promote and it's retreat. Oh. Interesting. The series of tactics never ends, does it? Um, all right. It's a little difficult for my king to seek refuge. I might need to build some kind of semblance of a castle here soon? Maybe? Okay. That does block my lance. Um... Let's run the king just a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I could have taken the slants, and now I cannot. That is worthy of note. Um, yeah, let's continue defending this point and the point in front of my lance. If this knight takes, I could drop a pawn on the knight's head and maybe contain it? Maybe? Or maybe I need to bring the gold up first, but yuck. Containing the knight doesn't look so simple. Also, I could consider dragon takes knight and drop the knight here. If I just really love drama. Um, maybe bishop takes or horse takes knight could also be considered at some point. Again, just really enjoying the drama out of it, but it doesn't seem worth it. Alright, so they're threatening not so subtly to push this, and we exchange knights, and there's no profit there. So where can we find profit instead? Oh. Um. Sure. Let's activate my dragon. If rook takes, we exchange rooks, and then drop a rook here, and see how the opponent holds on. If silver takes, maybe I take the lance, maybe I find something better. I don't know. Oh, interestingly, well, I can't drop a pawn here because horse takes pawn. If the horse moved away, then we could be talking about some kind of pin. Mm -hmm. All right. Interesting. Where are we going now? I don't need to move this horse for it to become active. I mean, I could have taken this silver and probably should have taken it, I guess. Because these tactics are really hard to keep track of. But I didn't see anything that knocked me out here. I could be missing something. For example, they could trap my rook now that they have multiple silvers, um, but then I could take one. And then they take my gold, and then I move my lance away, and gosh, we're, we're going places. Um... Strange.
I know I'm missing something. Oh, never mind. Found it. Well, that's a work of art. We'll take it. If the king runs up, then the gold drop is also mate. All right, two games down, one to go. Oh, what's our next proverb? Recapture a vanguard pawn with an opposing pawn. Good luck. Um, this thing again. You know what? Let's call their bluff. Let's play Static Rook today. Just because they decided to play this. I don't know how to play this. <laughs> Shit. This is going to be a mess. All right. Bishop exchange. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's... Build the boat ish thing. They retreat the rook. Where are we? No. I don't understand this at all. Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. 
7分Well, we'll see where this ends up. I'm just really not understanding something fundamental here. Okay, that must be it. That must be the thing. Um, hmm. Go Fun. All right, try to keep my eye on the ball this time. Let's see if I can succeed at that or not. Again, my audio drops out. I don't know why, but I assume you still hear it. Even if my speakers seem to be not functional. I assume all you can still hear are the piece uh, banging noises. I think it's a hardware issue, not a software one, but it could be some audio driver thing. Um...
There were many candidate moves there. Oh, I kept thinking they could drop a pawn behind this gold. This rook drop might be too close to their castle. I was afraid if I dropped it too far away, they'd interpose something and my attack would just completely die. But that might not be the case. Um... All right, let's try this. Temporarily blocking my horse. I'm hoping to remedy that immediately, whichever way this goes. Um, if they do silver takes, I take back with the horse. If the silver retreats, I move the lance up. So... Obviously, option three is they do something like drop a bishop to hit my rook. Okay, oh. They have an attack as well, don't they? Um, not sure they do. But if they do, I should have uh, hit the rook as soon as it got close to my castle. Um... Yeah, that's clever. Thumping. I forgot I need the silver. Or I need the slants. Alright, this is going to suck a lot. Because I had an advantage and I threw it. Now I've got to earn it all over again. Oh. Or not. Um. Nifun Sanjubio. Well, the horse was beautiful in the other corner, but it... Oh, fuck. Wait, no. If they take this, I have two different ways I can capture that back. Um... Alright, this is what I was imagining. Um... I didn't look this far ahead, but it's nice to have that. Nifun. That doesn't really help my attack, does it? It feels nice, but it, in terms of actually supporting my attack, well, there is one upside to it. And that's that I'll get this square. If we ex yeah, if they exchange and then run the gold, I can drop a silver here immediately, twice blocking my rook, but eventually giving me a way to force their gold to continue running. Um, that doesn't do anything. But did my move do anything? No, not really. Um... All right, let's take it. Oh, sucks.
1分。Even me with my extreme pro rook bias can find decent moves once in a while. They mostly involve giving up the rook. Nice, the sound still works. Shit. Well, that's no good. Sanjubio. And me and my many pieces can't pull off with、uh, anything like what my opponent is doing. This is impressive in two respects.、Um, oh, right, I'm in check. Well, that, um, there's problems here. I have no mate, and like, I'm under heavy attack and have no time. I did avoid getting mated in one. But yeah, my time management is terrible. Oh, that's not a rook. Alright. Finally, we walked into m a t e i n one. Alright, there we go. Three games done. Nothing more to worry about today, is there? Alright. Hope we've enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching. See you next time.